What's up, YouTubers, man? It's your boy, Nupes, revving again. Um, look, I'm not going to take a long time on this, man, because, you know, I don't like talking a long time about silly stuff like this, eventually. But I just, I promise y'all that I was going to give y'all a, a thing about some good books to read. So, these just a few of the books I read. And some of them I'm going to mention is not even down here because I can't even really get the copies because they're hard to get. But, um... Uh, the Bible is always a good book to read. This is the contemporary English version. It's still King James version, but however, it's still a Bible and is you know it's good to read. Um, I suggest that you read more than just the King James version. I would suggest you read a lot of versions of the Bible, as long as it ain't no satanic or nothing like that. But read all the versions of the Bible you can. And I don't care if people gonna get mad at me for this. A lot of Christian friends gonna get mad if I say this, but I'm gonna tell you like this too. You can read the Quran too, because a lot of stuff that's in the Quran is Christianity. It's a lot of things based on Christianity. I haven't read the stuff of myself. It's almost the same book. It just, this is the Roman Empire. Anyway, um, this is a little different off the subject. This is a nice book I bought a while ago. You know, uh, Tears for Water. It's a uh, Alicia Keys book. You know what I'm saying? She wrote all the songs and poems in here while she was on her tour when she did the... Uh, I think the Secret Diary album. What was the name of that album that she did? I can't think of the name. Come on, let's go. The second album that she came out. Come on, we leaving. Come the second on, album she came out with. That's what it was. Bye, doggy. Anyway, and if y'all into that crazy drama stuff like I am into, you know what I'm saying? This chick, uh, Catherine Stevens, she got a good book. She got two good ones actually. Uh, Confessions of a Video Vixen, and this is the Vixen Diaries. Same chick. Y'all know her probably as Superhead. I ain't gonna lie, yo, y'all can talk all the shit y'all want, but this this a good-ass book. Both of these shits was good. Both of them, they some good-ass books. And, uh, I know you remember this dude right here. His show got took off the air not too long ago. But I like his book, uh, American Conspiracies. It tell you about the shit dealing with John F. Kennedy. Um, also, like, it also has some other, uh, big conspiracies dealing with 9-11. And some other things. And talk about how he became the governor and how... The CIA was watching his air move and stuff, and he didn't understand why. And this is Jesse Ventura, American Conspiracies. He used to have a show that came on called Conspiracy Theories. You know, you know, like, you mean to tell me that they're trying to kill me? Yeah, that guy. And this is a good book. I'm not going to bullshit you And one of the authors I listen, I mean, I read from all the time is her name is uh, Laurel Hamilton. She wrote a lot of vampire crazy books, right? But this is finally one of her books that they turned into a Marvel comic, which is uh, called Anita Blake. It's dealing with the same chick in this book here, which is called uh, Nightshade uh, Traveling, which is the same chick, Anita Blake, is, a, uh, is like her main character in a lot of her books. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm telling you, Loretta Hamilton, she's a good writer too. You like, you like that vampire sick crazy stuff? Good book to read, man. Um, This is just one of my, my all-time favorite books right here. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a big Star Wars fanatic. I know you probably don't think I am because the way I talk and the way I act. But I'm a big Star Wars fanatic. Come on, man. My nickname, Revan. Come on. Where do you think I got that from? Anyway, this is one of my uh, favorite books right here by Matthew Stover, which is the actual, based on the movie of Star Wars, you know, Revenge of the Sith. The book is better than the movie, by the way, I'm going to tell you. It's a lot more stuff that happened in the book that isn't in the movie, which I actually like the book a lot better than the movie. But the movie is good, too. But this was better. Um... Also, one of the books I want to mention is not, I can't find a copy of the book, but I'm going to tell you a good book to get. It's called Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper. It's called Behold a Pale Horse. Oh, it's, um, okay, my bad. I'm sorry about that, y'all. It is called Behold a Pale White Horse. I'm sorry. It is called Behold a Pale White Horse. That's a good book by William Cooper. He's dead. He died, uh... A little bit after um, the 9-11 incident happened, when he talked about uh, how, you know, they was planning to make a, a, a big move to make it look like it was a terrorist event and try to make it like it was Ben Latin. He actually predicted it. If you don't believe it, go to uh, YouTube and just type up, uh, William Cooper predicts 9-11, and you will see some stuff on that too. Um, I will go into these other books, but I can't really say for a fact this is a good book yet. Written by uh, Simon R. Green, which is called uh, Raising Hell and Nightside, because I haven't read the whole thing yet. But what I read of it, okay, what I read of it so far is pretty good. It's about this this cop 
he from uh, the 1920s. But somehow when he get in this parallel, uh, he go through this time warp or whatever, and it brings him like kind of to our time. But he thinks like a, you know, like a, he like, you know, he thinks like a, a cop based on like the Al Capone like times. But he go around fighting vampires and witches and shit like that. You know, I'm into stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know if it's the whole thing's a good book yet, but it's just something I was reading. I ain't finished yet. Though. This book right here, Witch for Hire. Written by Kim Harrison. Yay. Yay. I I will try so hard to I will try so hard to read this book, but every time I try to get into this book, I cannot get into it. So I'm not gonna say it's not a good book. It's just that I don't ever really have time to read them. I'm always doing something. But that's just what I want to talk about. Some good books to read, man. It's some other books that's good to read. I just don't have them or they very rare and they're hard to find. Another book that I would like to give you in the Bible series, if you can, is a book called The Book of Enoch. That is a good book. Look, The Book of Enoch. If you can, read The Book of Enoch. And also, another good book to read with the Bible is called The Kings of Israel. It took about all the kings that was in Israel. That's another good book to read. And it's not in the King James Version Bible. So, it's still something to read. And I know a lot of my Christian friends are going to really be pissed about this video because I said... You should read other books besides the King James Version. But yes, you should. You should always read other books. Don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't read other uh, books unless it's satanic or something. You don't want to read a Kabbalah or no shit like that. But, yeah, that's all, man. That's what I want to say, man. You know, I'm going to go ahead and wash up, put some clothes on, and get ready for the work or whatever today. So, yeah. Uh, signing off, man. Bye.